Well, hello everyone. It has been quite some days actually since I last spoke to you. If you're new here, I'm AD, single dad to my twins, John and Ella. We're home educating and living life our way. Years ago, I worked as an underwater cameraman in Thailand where I met their mom. We tragically lost her at the birth in Bangkok, but our journey wasn't about to stop there. We're now converting our big van, a Mercedes Sprinter, getting ready for new adventures across Europe and beyond. Join us as we build, explore, and live our lives to the full. Well, the Pixies have been, they've been in the night. There's a few bits happened, but nothing too drastic. It was mostly getting another two coats of that blue stuff in, and I'm still yet to do a little bit more on the floor. I'm trying to level it out a bit because, because I put that extra tape on, that I maybe shouldn't have, but whatever, belt and braces. It's now a bit bumpy. So what I'm doing is I'm laying more layers of the blue stuff, and then I'm actually troweling it off, and it's working quite well. So I'm gonna do one more coat of that. We have a young man over here who is very, very busily staining this bit of plywood. Now this is, I think, gonna look lovely in the van. That is for the outside wall of the shower. Not this one, because we've got to build bed there. As you can see, I've got that one there. That's not stained yet. That's gonna be pulled off. John's gonna sand it and paint it, uh, stain it. The one he's doing now is to go there and as you can see, we've got some speaker wires. So that's what the holes are for in that piece of wood. Because Ella's going to have a couple of speakers here. I might have gone for overkill and got slightly too big a speakers. But whenever we've been out for a drive recently and she's in the back and John and I in the front, she can never hear the music. So she turns it up, or once it turned up, far louder than we can tolerate. So I thought, why not? We'll give her her own speakers. The other thing that's been happening, I have, not me, sorry, the Pixies have made this uh, little step with the cubby holes on it. Yes, I know I cut out a step that was already there. Don't, I don't care, whatever. I change my mind regularly. Anyway, that is a really nice, neat little step there. It's also gonna have this little light on that side, opposing that side. I bought some more of this trim, so the trim's gonna go right round, and it's actually gonna look, look a lot nicer like that, I feel. Then the kitchen will sit on top of there, which also allows me to build the kitchen sort of from my workshop without, uh, it'd just be easier having a flat bottom. Because if I was gonna build the kitchen with this bit that goes down there, there's nowhere to stand it, it'd be a pain to build. So, oh, you might have noticed this as well. That's the Altro, Altro flooring that I've been talking about. So that's like lino, but in, like heavily industrial, 100% waterproof. It's what they use in wet rooms. And I managed, I hunted around for something that was cost effective and it's a really nice color. I'm quite happy with it. So I'm hoping to get that down in the garage area today. I was hoping to get a piece on the floor in there today, but as I'm gonna put more paint, it's probably not gonna happen. Just in case that wasn't enough waffling for you, I've got a little bit more, because it's now the next day. I'm not gonna waffle too much. I'm gonna get on with some work and you're gonna watch me today. So I will very quickly show you that I got that done. So that's trimmed up nicely now with the black round there. Ignore that, it's gonna be under the kitchen, it doesn't matter, I've completely run out of that stuff now. I've also got my little lights fully wired. I mean, this wire will come up through that hole and it'll join more little lights poking out from there. What else happened? Oh, would you look at that? So that was the big project yesterday. You saw John painting it. Ignore that, it's gonna have a piece of black trim going up the corner there. There's Ella's speakers. She can never complain about the music being too quiet again. Um, so that looks fantastic and I'm really happy with the stain that we got. It ties into the floor nicely and it was, it was the right choice. It was the right choice instead of going with like salmon or uh, other options that were out there. That is not down yet. That is going to be project number one today, I believe, because all the blue is dried. So we'll get you clipped on somewhere and that needs to go in. While that is drying, I am going to fit this, I believe. This is my industrial Altro, like I just showed you a minute ago. I've got to remember what I spoke about because it was only yesterday I was speaking. But if you remember these, this is from where I had to make holes to bolt the gas tank underneath. And what I've done is they weren't holding, my patches weren't holding very well. So that's a solid piece of wood now. I just need to shave the tops off them, sand them down nice and level so we don't have any indentations on this floor. And then that goes down today.
Alrighty, there we go. I've chucked a, a lump of wood on top and some incredibly heavy objects and hopefully that'll weight it down enough. It feels like a bit of a gamble. <laughs> the drain, the waste that I've fit has pulled this flooring down nice and taut so it's lower than the rest of the floor. But because it's pulled that down, it's causing the Lino, uh, the Altro flooring to bubble up next to it. So I'm hoping that old bag of uh, plastering bonding coat is enough to weigh it down and make it flat. So when the glue's gone off, oh, I don't like things like this. I'm probably gonna have to wait till this evening or if I'm sensible tomorrow, I'm not sensible, am I ever? I'm, I rush, I've got no patience. So we'll see. But I know I put some glue on these holes yesterday, the same stuff, uh, OB1, which is the, like, in my opinion, with CT1, the best adhesives you can get. And this just didn't dry all day because uh, it's just cold now, that temperature, anything sort of like 10 degrees or below, nothing dries, paint, glues. So I have a little heater that I put in here overnight. It helped finish the blue paint off and it helped get that glue done, which means I can multi-tool those now. In fact, that's the next, next task. I know I said this video was mostly or all about the shower and I wasn't fitting other things in, but you can watch me put this floor in the back, can't you? It'll only take a minute. Well, for you, it's gonna take me an hour or so, maybe more. Let's do it. Okay, probably a little bit unnecessary, but I've added a bit of filler as well. I just want it to be smooth and this stuff, if it can dent into that drain in there, it could easily dent into there after years of use. So smooth it all off, sand it down. I've put out this, this is the best I can do to lay the stuff out without it getting hurt on the tarmacky floor. And then that I still have is the original flooring from in the back of the van. Um, so I might use that as a template. Now, if I template from that, it's gonna be a little on the small side because I do believe that at the edge, it wasn't really tight up to the edge. So I'll make it a little bit bigger and then I can just trim from there. Actually thinking about it, what I might do is measure that to fit properly. I'll cut off the bit that will be along in front of the shower there. And so put that in, try it for size as a whopping great template. And that'll give me a better idea. We'll do this right. I mean, it doesn't matter so much on the sides because we're gonna have wall potentially coming down, covering edges anyway. And I still might build something around the wheel arches. I don't need to, but I might. It all depends on time. So it doesn't have to be totally precise. And at the back here, it'll have a lip coming across it. Over at that end, it's gonna have a batten of wood across it because that's where uh, the wall for Ella's bedroom will fit to. So doesn't need to be that precise, but what's an extra 20 minutes just to make it really nice? Yeah, let's do it.
Okie dokes. So we've got that floor down, as you've well seen. I have now taken the weights off that because I'm impatient and I will not wait till tomorrow. And I have templated up to get a side piece on there. And John is back with us. Hello, sir. He's been at his gaming club. And what I've just done, I've used that template that I made. It's the same template I used for the wood. And I just went to transfer it to here and realized I made a bit of a mistake. I figured I can get two side panels out of one sheet because when I did the wood, it was one there and then one opposing over there. But that would make them the same. I need a mirror image, don't I, to go in? Because with the wood, it didn't matter. With this, it's got a front. One side of it is the shiny surface with the, uh, the peel back safety. Okay, so this is where the microphone ran out of power. I do apologize. It's happening more and more at the moment because we're working such long days and I just leave it clipped onto me and switched on all day and I forget about it. Anyway, what I'm trying to tell you there is I couldn't do it the way I did with the plywood. I had to have these mirrored and I didn't calculate for that when I ordered the stuff. Fortunately, by absolute fluke, we're just getting away with it. I'm going to have a little gap of a few mil, but I'll be able to cover that with silicon. So uh, yeah, we should be fine. <laughs> That'll do, that's an entire tube of OB1, so I don't want to use any more. Let's get it stuck on, shall we? Exciting! <laughs> That floor couldn't go any better with just these simple white walls. I wanted to put some sort of decorative wall there, but it, like I said before, I think in, earlier in this video, it's an expense I just couldn't do now. We're running out of money and time. I just couldn't do it. So it's all going to be white because it was more cost effective. But I think with this floor, we get away with it. Plus our toilet's gray. So I haven't told you about that toilet, have I? I will, I promise. I have just measured out for the back wall. And I have transferred the measurements onto here. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to fit it. What's the sky doing? I had that feeling of rain then, but I don't think so. Not today. Could not be happier. Blooming fantastic. There's a bit of a gap down there, but that's to be expected because I had to cut the mirror image like I was talking about earlier. And that's fine. I'll get that with silicon. I am a silicon master after years and years of doing bathrooms. So I'll make it look all trim and pretty in the end and it'll be very watertight. I am now going to attempt, I'm running out of energy, but I'm going to attempt this back wall here. There's no way in hell I'm going to be able to film that. So, sorry, I'm just going to do that. It's another one of them projects I'm just going to get. 
done and I'll pick up with you in a bit. Okay, it's very dark, but John is doing the pleasurable thing of taking off the cellophane. How's it going down there, dude? Good. But look at that. Da -da -da -da. I even got the ceiling on. Can you hear me without the proper mic? And with Captain Noisy there. I got the ceiling on because I'm determined to put the light in there tonight and wire it so I can use, like, you know, I like to connect my uh, electrics up just so we can see things working. I hope you can see me, it's pitch blooming black. Give me that light there, mister. So there we go, obviously it needs a lot of silicon around the edges and I haven't done this little trimming up here. Oh, you can't see a thing, can you? <laughs> what I'll do is if I get that light wired tonight, I'll show you. If I don't, I'll see you tomorrow. And we're back and it is the next day and I did do the wiring last night, I just didn't show you. I apologise. I went inside, started making food, sat down and I was like, oh, I forgot to film it, wasn't going to do it then. Anyway, I can show you now so there's little difference. As always, what I've done, I found the wire that connects to it and I've wired it in and plugged it into my cigarette lighter on my wonderful extension. But as you can see, it's looking very lovely in here for a very simple white bathroom. I've still got to silicon. That's my project for today. But look, look, look. Clickety bang. And that is also, I can push that up. And it's an extractor. That's our max air dome. Turn it off, pull that down and off again. So that, as you can see, is more than enough light for that little bathroom. So that's perfect. I'm very happy. You know I like to plug things in. When I wire things in, I like to plug them into this extension and just see them working. We've got quite a variety of things now I can plug in and see them working, and it's lovely. I can't wait to get my electric supply in and actually start connecting things up for real. So I'm about to get this router, and I'm going to go inside here, and I've got a router off the edge of this plastic trim look. I just left it proud, and I can router it off, and I'm going to start to just clean up these edges a bit. But... I don't need to go into too much detail. That's something that I can, I can play with that anywhere in the world to make it pretty in the future. Right now, I've got to get this van finished as quick as possible. So I will just quickly router it and quickly trim it down, maybe get the sander to it, and then I'll just leave it. That'll do for now. And then I'll get the silicon on before the end of today. And then what I've started doing is just testing out some battens here. Now that, I believe, will be the next video because we're just doing the shower in this one, but I'm showing you. You can get yourselves excited for the next video. Those are Ella's speaker cables because obviously I wired up the whole van. I didn't know I was going to be installing speaker cables, but there we go. They're in. I've managed to feed those down the back of there today. I had to take my chair off again. They've gone underneath. They're going up there. They're a bit short, so I need to extend them to get up to the back of the stereo. So they're not wired in yet. Yeah, right. Yes, again, right. I'm going to router this. Let's do it quickly before end of day. Now we need a John to come and clean that up. It's yet another day. And yes, I've done stuff last night without showing you. This is becoming a norm. I do realize that. And I just come on every day. I talk randomly at you and then I go and work and don't show you. For those who've been around a while, you understand what's going on. Anyone who's new to this channel, I am desperately trying to get this van done as quick as possible so we can stop paying rent in the house we're in, get moved into the van and head off to the sunshine because it's getting really cold here in the UK. Anyway, what I did get done last night, I mean, I couldn't film it anyway. It was dark. I had a little light in here in the bathroom. I got the silicon done. That's our little heater we put in overnight to help paint and things dry. So as you can see, we are all siliconed up around everywhere. It's trimmed up nice. That is a proper watertight wet room now. Very, very happy with that. So also in this video, I fully intend to get this timbre door in. Now that depends on a lot of things. Well, not a lot of things, a couple of things. I have got to stick the track in there, but I'm going to use adhesive, stick it down because I don't want to drill any holes down through that floor. It's just not worth it. I reckon a bunch of OB1 will hold that. Um, once that's in place, 
we're gonna have to wait for it to dry before I can actually then start messing about with the tambour door and fitting the upper rail in. And I've got a neat little trick for the um, upper rail, I hope. If it works out, it should. There's no reason why not. Um, get the upper rail in, tambour door working. Hey, end of video, and I'll move on to continuing with panelling here. And then I do believe, I think, I think, I think, we're going to look at the ceiling. I can't think of any reason why we wouldn't. Uh, I just need to figure out where my lighting's going to be. I'm planning on strip lights running right down the centre. I don't know how many yet, excuse me, but I've got my wire there. I'll have to figure that and leave the holes, or I just leave one panel at the end here, a little one that I can access. Blah, blah, blah. That's what's happening. I'll go and get the wood later today. Then I'll be editing this video, getting it out to you guys for tomorrow. Uh, at which point I will start working on walls and ceilings. Very exciting. I say me, me and John, bless him. He's in bed now. He's a teenager. That's allowed. He'll be getting up in a minute. But, oh, I also might get him to stick some stain on this today. Just see how it comes out. Like these, the end bits of this plywood matched into that. I think it's better than nothing. I might put some sort of waterproof step across that at some point. But I think I said earlier yesterday, um, those sort of things are not important to get this van ready and get it moving. So uh, if he's available for it, we'll get him to do that. Right, I'm going to look at sizing up for these tracks. And I'm going to, no, I'm going to go to screw fix because I've got to get some more masking tape to mask off if he's painting. I'll do that while he gets up. I'm going to stop talking now. Right, I am back from Screwfix. John's getting ready. I am in the mood to get this done today. So first of all, let me show you the tambour door. Now, if you watched last week's video, you'll know that we already had this out. We cut it to size. We didn't show anyone, we just did it. It was another sort of Midnight Pixies event type thing. Now, I'll just go and get the rails as well. But you'll remember that I said I will show you in a future video. This is that video. These two rails, this one goes on the floor, this one goes on the top, which I've got a cunning plan for fixing, and the tambour door obviously slides around the corner and across the doorway, and then it slides and goes across the wall. So hopefully this will all make sense soon, what I was saying earlier in this video, Yes, I think it was, about the size. We had to sort of um, compromise on door height in order to get more door width. Come this way, it's gonna make sense, over here. Ah, now this is one bit that I don't know if we will get done today. Um, it's a magnetic strip that goes on this side of the door for the door to magnetize to, funnily enough. I haven't planned in my head how I'm going to do that bit yet. This is the heavily reduced in size tambour door. It will be on the inside there and then obviously what it does is as you push it across on the inside it goes around the corner like that. Does that make sense? But obviously if I turn you there look imagine this is on the inside yeah I can't film it in there that can only go so far before it hits the back wall. So that is the furthest we can go. As you can see, that takes the door just nicely around the corner. If it was higher, it would have to be thinner because the, the wall comes in so drastically. If it was a lot shorter, as you can imagine, it could go back a lot further. So like I say, that's where we hit the compromise. That's why, please stay there, this is as low as it is. But it is so literally just not a problem. It's just like that. You get used to it. It's like being on a boat, I suppose. Then, of course, these rails, not rails, tracks, I don't know. One in the bottom, one in the top. That's the bottom one. So that's going to go down in there. And what I'm going to have to do is get that glued in. And then we're going to have to wait for that glue to go off before I can continue with this job. Once I cut this one to the right size, I can cut that one to the right size. And then we can glue it in. And then that job will go on hold for a little while. So that's when maybe John can get this painted and I'll probably jump onto something else, which you're not gonna see because I'm not filming anymore until next week. <laughs> We're just filming the bathroom, this one, okay? So let's see about doing that, shall we? Right, so my first cut, you can see I've done it at a slight angle. Uh, I've been very conservative because we can always take more off. We can never put it back. This is the rule of things like this. Yep, that just says we can take a little bit more of an angle on it 
and I might take a little bit off the back because my silicon line, I've done a really beefy silicon line for security in there. So uh, that's interfering with it. Back in a minute. Right, try it again. All right, if I hold that in and hold that in with my toes, this should work. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah, it'll work a lot better when the tracks are fixed in properly. So, that is great. Come here, let me show you what I'm talking about in here. So, on the inside, you can see now that track goes to there and it's just nicely angled. And that is the door pushed as physically far as it will go. So now I've got to trim this at this end, probably exactly in line with this door here uh, would make sense. And then the magnetic strip will go here. I just haven't figured out how yet, but that will come later. I think I'm going to have to put some sort of strip of something on there to fix it to. It's just the way it is. So now, of course, I can mark up that one to chop off there. And of course, chop that one as well. So a little bit more cutty-cutty, and uh, then I can glue the bottom piece in, and then it's hands off that job till that glue dries. Now the problem we have, it's so blinking cold right now, as you can tell by my hoodie, um, it's gonna take ages for the glue to dry. So be it, so be it, so be it, but hopefully it's dry enough to muck about with it today and get it finished, because I want that door in, in this video, before this video goes out tomorrow. And uh, I'll be editing tomorrow, so I'm not working on this. Okay, cutty cutty. <laughs> right, now we'll get a bit of glue on that. I've got all the weaponry I need here. Wonder wipes, magic, you need these. Anything you're doing with silicon, get some wonder wipes or equivalent. There's other companies out there. Um, to be fair, I'll link some in the description for you if you don't know wonder wipes. Anyone who's never used wonder wipes then learns about wonder wipes goes, oh my God, how did I survive without wonder wipes? Especially when it comes to silicons and things like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna mask this off. Ugh. Again, masking tape, use good stuff. Don't use cheap stuff because it'll stick and stay. Um, now what I've seen people doing and what I'm going to do is leave a gap here for any water to find its way through. Uh, across the back of here, I'll fully seal it and I'll fully glue it under there. But like I say, we'll leave a channel under there, I think is the way forward. Is I'm probably gonna need a way of fixing this in. I guess I'll clamp it. This is a very tight space to work in. Very tight. I suppose I'll mask it, if nothing else, just to give me a guide as to where I'm going, how far I'm coming out with the glue. This is frustrating. I wish I'd glued this in last night, but I couldn't because the silicon was going off. Um, so yeah, not much I could do about it. I really wish I had now. Okay, glue, glue, glue. So I'm going to press it down firmly into the glue, but not so firm. Ooh. That it squirts all the glue out. I want there to be some glue left in there to hold it. Uh oh, it begins. I've got some on my fingers. This is where this stuff comes in. Wonder wipes. I suppose at this point, I'd be quite interested if anyone would have a different technique for doing this. I am really reluctant to put any screws through that shower room floor. So that's the reason I'm doing it with glue. And this, this Obi-Wan glue, I mean, it just doesn't come off. It's not coming off ever. All right, there we go. It's a bit hard to see, I know, in the, the light. But um, that'll hold now. We've just got to wait, unfortunately. Yeah, so next thing is I'm going to show you my plan for this thing. I hope it works. I'm going to do it in the garage here, so I'll put you there to get enough light, and uh, I'll talk you through it. 
So obviously this needs to fix up like this. Because I can put it at whatever height I want, I'm going to be able to have room for some screw heads in there. I'll just make sure I lift it a little bit. And as long as it stops the door from falling over, it's working. And then the door won't interfere with the screw heads. So I bought this piece of aluminium. Now this is what I've seen someone else doing on uh, the old Ubel Tubal. So I can cut this down to length to basically fit on top of there and across there. I can screw up from inside and screw into the aluminium to make these as one. And then I can fix that through into the shower room wall with plenty of silicon, it'll be fine. And then I thought what'd be quite nice is I got this uh, PVC trim. I can make holes for the screws that are sticking out and I pop that on top and it'll just blend into the bathroom a little bit nicer. What do you reckon? I think it's a cunning plan. I'll probably use glue as well, because, you know, why not? So, yeah, I'm going to have a go at sort of planning this out, chopping it to size and shape and uh, making it work. Right, sorry, I've just been to do a bit of cutting without you, but uh, so far, let's see, I've 45 that, that'll go like that. We've got a little angle on this one to match the angle on the end of that track that we did and I see no reason as to why that will not work absolutely magnificently. So if that is 45 degrees there, that's locked in. We've always got white silicon to hide up uh, any slight miscalculations. This is going quite smoothly. I don't know if you followed along on that time, that's what was going on. So this is what I have constructed. Obviously you can see the holes in the back of there. It's going to fix up into the corner there, fix up there. Then of course we're going to have this big sort of aluminium thing. Oh, I need to get some silicon wiped off that. Then what I've done is I've pre-drilled this thing with holes where the screws are. And can you see it's going to click over those screws and the, uh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and the screws that go through into the wall have also got their own little pockets on the back of there. So this all slots on with some silicon, of course, and covers up the screws. And that will be the finished article. I am very happy with that. Right, this is getting very confusing. Um, I'm about to film for getting the timbre door in but we've just been filming all afternoon for a different video about putting beds in, which John's busy doing rivnuts over there. You'll see that in a few weeks because we're not actually going to be doing that bed frame for quite a while, but there's one aspect of it we need to get done ahead of time. So I've already started filming that, ready for that video. Don't worry, don't worry. Anyway, that glue has not dried as much as I would like it to dry, which is very annoying but I need to get this filmed and finished today. So we're gonna get the timbre door popped in there. We're gonna get the top on and I'm gonna screw it into the wall. Um, like I said before, the only thing we probably won't get done is the magnetic strip on this side. It doesn't matter, that's for another day. I'll have to have a think about how I'm gonna do that. We're both very tired now and had enough for today really. So, uh, so I'll shut up and get on with it. How about that, yeah? Right, I've popped the door in. And this lovely thing I've made, we'll just balance on top. Then we lift it by a couple of mil so those screw heads don't interfere with the top of the door. John, could you get me the impact driver, please? It's there, but it needs a screwdriver bit in it, please. Which 
The one that's, there's just a screwdriver bit on the table, there should be. It's it's usual one, the shorter one. So, there's no reason why this won't squeeze in there. Oh, that's a tight fit actually. Oh no, it won't be once it's on the top of the door, will it? Oh dear, here, yeah, don't do that then. Uh, get it on the door first. Ah, that's interesting. John, just wrap your hand around them here. Right, hold that. Yes, brilliant. Don't move. Sorry guys, I know you can't really see much here, but what's been happening... <laughs> this is my lovely contraption that I made. And I've been trying to fix that in, and it's, I can't obviously bring a camera in here to do it. It's really testing me. Uh, I got the height a little bit wrong first time, because if it's too low, it's going to interfere with the screws I put in. But that looks to be working to me. In fact, that's working really, really well. Happy days. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So now I'm going to put these nice white caps on here and just trim it up a little bit. John's just getting me some silicon. Thank you, dude. Okay, I think we're about to run out of power as well. But look, look at that. I think that looks fantastic. I'm really, really happy with that. Right, we're getting Ella, because we need an Ella reaction. We're gonna finish the video here, but let me just show you how it's looking. This is what we're at so far. So I can, so the light's terrible. Slide that, turn the light on, and there's our little toilet room. You could, you could even shower in there without taking the toilet out, but we can lift the toilet out easy enough. And then that's an easy slider now. Obviously just missing the magnet. Let's get Ella's reaction. The all important. The amount of comments I get about Ella's reactions, it's true, as long as Ella's happy, We'll all be happy. I built that for Ella. That, if it was just me and John in a van, we wouldn't have one of those. So anyway, I think I can hear her coming. Is she here? Hello. Oh, look, she's all wrapped up in her uh, friend stuff. Oh, she's been spa having a spa day, haven't you, darling? Yes. Right, come here, look, my dear. Ooh. Grab hold of that yeah. and slide it across. Oh, cool. Reach, reach up and uh, touch the, the black button. Yeah. Oh, so that's done then. Pretty much. Hi, man. Oh, cool. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's good. It's. Can I go in and close the door and test it? What do you think, me? Oh, meet me. Oh. What do you think? Oh, pull me, me. Put her down. I think we're in. Hi, mittens. She says no. Oh. Right, we can't close the door all the way yet, Ella, because it hasn't got the magnet on that's going to be there. But that's like. So that'll be you in there. Feel all right? Hello, uh, Yeah, it's actually. Not too bad. Not too bad? Yeah. Plenty of room, hey? Not plenty, but you know. <laughs> what are you going to do? Enough. <laughs> it's good enough. You happy? Do we get a thumbs up? You get two. Oh, thanks, Al. And on that note, two thumbs up from Ella. What more could we ask for? John, you and I have done a fantastic job there. Well done, dude. Come in, Els. We're going to say goodbye now, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and all that stuff. You did a great job yet last week. Thank you so much for all those likes. That was brilliant. We'll see you next week for the next part. Wonderful Bye-bye. Bye-bye.